In this video, we're talking about why your channel sucks, and I hate to break it to you, but my channel sucks too. So what we're gonna do is dive into some things that I think you need to think about and some things you should start processing in your own minds so that you can have a successful channel one, two, three, four, five years in the future. And also I'm gonna kind of dive into where my head's been at because I have been trying to figure out what to do moving forward on this channel. All right, let's roll that whole intro thing. So I've got all of my stuff on wheels in my studio so I can wheel my microphone around and wheel my camera around. This doesn't really work that well. So today's video is sponsored by Placeit. And I'll talk a little bit about their services in a little bit, but for creators, Placeit is a super easy tool to help make things a little bit easier for your channel. So I'm using my hair light. I should probably go back to my key light. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back over here. Hey guys, my name is Jeff Dovey, and on this channel, you'll find a ton of education geared towards creators. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos. So I've actually been struggling with this whole idea of YouTube for the last few months. On New Year's, I did a video that was kind of about like mindset when it comes to creating your channel. And in that video, I dove into some things to think about moving forward with your YouTube channel. And part of that was me just expressing my thoughts on what I need to do for this channel. However, it didn't really solve anything for me. And that's because for my channel, I've been struggling on what kind of content to create. Now, as a viewer, you might think, well, it's pretty clear. You create education for creators, do filmmaking tutorials, YouTube stuff. But what it comes down to is, does that satisfy me as a creator? And is that the kind of content that I wanna create moving forward? So I've built a channel that's based on search traffic. And that's one topic that I think is super powerful in growing your channel. You can use the search algorithm to figure out what to shoot for an audience that is hungry for that style of content. This is a great way to grow a channel. And for me, I made a massive transition after I did the whole travel vlogging thing. I switched over to doing these kind of search based videos. So product reviews, I worked with the DJI Mavic Pro. I transitioned that into more filmmaking tutorials. I really found a foothold in that style of content. And then I got into the YouTube education and I've really seen some success using the search algorithm because when you do it right, you can rank at the top of search. And then every time someone searches for something like how to vlog, then your video will pop up at the top. And that's what's happened for some of my videos. So my video on how to vlog is ranked number one in Google search and number one in YouTube. So that video alone has brought in a ton of new people to this channel. If that's one of you, just let me know down in the comments. I'm really actually kind of curious on where you guys have all come from. So put that down in the below. Tell me what the first video is that you've seen on my channel that made you hit that subscribe button. But building a channel that's just based on the search algorithm is great if that's what you really want to do. But for me as a creator, that's not the only thing that I wanna do. I, I love doing education and I love helping you guys find success, whether it's on your YouTube channel or just in creating content. But for me, I really wanna stretch my creativity and actually do some of these stories that have been just floating around in my head. And so you got a little taste of this. If you guys watch my Thailand videos, I mean, not a whole lot of you did, but there's a portion of you that did. And those videos are something more along the lines of what I wanna shoot because it's engaging for me as a creator to go and tell these stories of people doing really awesome things because it challenged me, it pushed me in new ways, and it really just let me try some unique things that I don't normally do on this channel. All right, we need to pause the video right here and talk about place it because I think that this is a tool that makes design super easy for creators. Placeit is a website where you can make animated logos, YouTube intros, in screens, and a ton of different graphics that you can use for any sort of application. The best part is that it's super affordable to use. Within a few clicks, you're able to create a beautiful looking graphic that will save you a ton of time and also save you a ton of money because you don't have to hire someone to do this for you. Check out how easy it is to make an in-screen. I select a template, I change out the font and colors, and then I add a background image from their library or use one of my own. From there, I'm ready to put in some music, 
download this and then drop it into my videos. You can pay per design or you can get a monthly subscription and design as many elements as you want. So if you wanna build out logos and t-shirts and anything else for your channel, you can use Placeit to make all of that happen. So if you're looking to boost your design skills, then I highly suggest checking out Placeit. I'll put a link down below in the description to where you can check out their website and you can start doing some of your first designs. Okay, so why does your channel suck? Let's just talk about niche for a second. And this is a term that's thrown all over YouTube. All the big educators talk about niche. They talk about having a topic. I talk about it in most of my videos as well. And I think niche is the wrong way to approach your channel. And this is something that I've just been mulling over in my head for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that is if you are putting yourself in this category. So I do education for filmmakers, creators. You start to forget why you're on YouTube and you start creating for the algorithm. You start creating for views. You create for watch time. You create for what is going to hit, which is not a bad place to be because that's how you grow a channel. However, if you're doing it from a place where you don't know as a creator what the reason is for your channel to be here, then it, you start to get lost. And the whole idea of niche starts to mask your whole potential as a creator. I know that's happened to me on this channel where I just, I don't feel that satisfied with the videos I'm creating. Yes, I enjoy creating tutorials and I like building out the different content that helps you guys, but there's just this hole that keeps getting bigger and bigger every time I produce one of these videos. And I've been talking to my wife about this. I've been talking to my friends about this. I'm just trying to figure out what, what is going on. Like I have a channel that's building momentum. It's getting watch time views. I know what to double down on, what to make more of and what to really do to make this channel take off. But at the same time, I'm not being fulfilled as a creator. And there's a reason for that. When I was in Thailand and we were shooting this elephant documentary, there was one night where I was hanging out with Levi and we were gonna go walk through the night market. And I had an idea for a video and I had shot all of this content, all this documentary style content, all this VR 180 content. And I turned to him and I said, hey, check this out. I'm gonna shoot a video right now. It's gonna take me probably 30 minutes to do and probably 30 minutes to edit. And this video is gonna be the best performing video out of all of them on my trip. And sure enough, that video is the best performing video. It's how to vlog without fear. It's a great video. I'm not saying it's a bad video, but the issue for me is that I flew all the way to Thailand to create this piece around this elephant sanctuary. And I had a bigger goal with this entire project, but I knew that just doing a tips video, a 10 tips video would crush it on my channel. And that put me in a weird spot because that made me kind of realize that this channel is just becoming a like 10 tips channel. Like I know what I can put in to make it work. And it's just, it's, it's not where I want to go moving forward. <clears throat> so let's talk about you and what this pertains to your channel. So what is happening is that I don't have a clear mission or vision or purpose for what I'm producing. Uh, I just actually started working with Daryl Eves and this is something that he really pushes when he starts working with creators is this mission, vision, purpose. Like, why are you creating? Now, this isn't like your channel trailer. Like my channel trailer is very different than what my mission is. My mission's not clear. I don't really know what my mission is. And I've really been just thinking about it last week and it's just now coming into focus. But your mission is something that is going to stay with you through the entirety of your channel. Like what's the reason for you being on YouTube? What is the reason for you creating? When you can clearly define that, then all the other pieces will start falling into place. And the vision is like how you're going to realize your mission. So how are you gonna actually make this happen for your audience? And you do that through the different forms of videos that you're going to create, but everything is gonna have a sense of this mission. I wanted to turn it to you guys. And I want you guys to start thinking about this. What is your reason for being here on the platform. Like, why are you here creating? And I want you to maybe stop creating content for a week, just take a step back and really put things in perspective because I don't want you to get trapped where I am currently, where I have this momentum going and I know what's gonna work, but I'm kind of lost as a creator in terms of what I want to produce and what my future looks like. I don't think in five, 10 years, my channel is gonna look the same as it's gonna look right now. I think it's gonna be a completely different beast and going through this process of figuring out what I want to do as a creator and what my mission is, is really going to help sculpt how I'm going to pivot and how I'm going to shift. 
so on this channel, I am gonna start pivoting a little bit. I'm gonna start changing things up. I'm gonna start testing. Now, I'm not gonna just completely swap my channel. I've done that in the past and I completely tanked my momentum. I'm not gonna do that because as a creator, you still have to think about where your views are coming in and you gotta use that data to make data-driven decisions moving forward. However, I am gonna start testing things and I think the whole world of like 10 tips to really grow your YouTube channel. I really don't wanna do those on this channel. So I'm gonna be playing around, bear with me. Things are gonna be evolving a little bit and I'm gonna use feedback from you guys. I'm gonna take what you guys like and I'm gonna use that to help transition this channel into what is fulfilling for me. And I highly suggest if you're struggling in any way and you just don't know why you're on the platform or you're just feeling bogged down in any way that you take a step back, stop worrying about doubling down, stop worrying about the things that get views, watch time, audience retention, all that, and really focus on you as a creator. You have to be in this for the long haul. You have to want to produce the videos that you're creating. And let me tell you from experience that if you start doing something that's not completely fulfilling, a year, two years, three years down the line, you're gonna start feeling burned out and you're gonna walk away from your channel. So guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts about where my brain is going. And I'd also love for you to just give me some feedback on my channel and what you like most about it down in the comments. There'll be plenty of videos coming up that fit exactly what I've been producing but you might see some things popping up that are a little bit new and a little bit different. So guys, that is it. I'll see you on the next one.